Oh Lord, have I reached the age where I What's up, squad? Happy Sunday. I just got out of bed. I know I look rough, but that's okay. I'm going to get myself together in just a minute, but I had to jump on here and talk to you guys. So, I just got through watching The Bestie Boo just dropped a new vlog. So, I had to watch that, of course. Um, and uh, I wanted to lay in bed this morning and be a lazy bum and watch a few Netflix uh, shows. I jumped on the bandwagon of Squid Game, so I wanted to do that. But before we move forward... Um, I wanted to address something and it's kind of, it's not, it's the exact topic that the bestie boo talked about, but you know, that's my best friend and whatever she got going on, I'm going to stand by her. But I do want to say that it's not a secret that I'm new to YouTube. That's not a secret, right? I've made that known. She's made that known and I'm still learning the ropes. I'm a work in progress. However, one of the desires that I had when I jumped on YouTube is that I wanted to be able to be my true authentic self. I didn't want to have to conform to nothing. I didn't want to have to be like nobody. I didn't want to have to try to keep up with the Joneses when I couldn't. I wanted to be my true authentic self. And I know you see all that junk in the background. This room is still being remodeled. It's a, a whole mess, honey. A whole mess. It's still being remodeled. So don't y'all worry about that. But anyways, I wanted to be my true authentic self. So, um, you know, I know hate comments come with the territory. And I got my first hate comment. But I wanted to address that publicly, just in case anybody out there may feel the same way. So let's go ahead and address that and, and keep it moving. So if this is not the channel for you, I get it. Some stuff is not for everybody. I, I, I Trust me, I get it. And maybe, you know, you need to move on. But I'm not conforming to nothing. And part of the comments in the comment, it also stated that I was trying to be like Gina. I don't feel like I'm trying to be like anyone. Um, Gina is my best friend and has been my best friend for 25 plus years. So common sense will tell you, you know, sometimes when we speak, um, there may be some similarities there. We are together a lot. So we are in the same places. So you might get some clips and some vlogs that may be the same or looks, you know, the background is the same, whatever the case may be. But don't let that bother you, honey. Don't let that bother you. I feel like I have the personality that draws people in. I feel like I do have genuine supporters off the top. I have subscribers that came in with positivity and rooted me, rooted for me to succeed. And I appreciate that. You do not understand how much I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. But if this is not the channel for you or you don't like the content, I don't see why you even waste your time or mine typing a hate comment. Like I never understood people who dislike a certain thing, but they take time out their day and invest in watching it just to type a dumbass comment. Like, keep the shit moving. I get it. We we not for each other. But those who genuinely want to be a part of the squad, I thank y'all. I thank y'all. And we gonna keep it moving. Your hate comments is not going to deter me from putting out another video. Not gonna deter me from pursuing what I want to pursue. So with that being said, keep that shit over there. And we gonna, we gonna stay right here where we been, comfortable with each other, building our little bond, and we gonna keep it moving. Now, let me go get myself together and then I'll be back with you because we got some things to do this Sunday. We got a Sunday, we Sunday brunching and um, yeah, I need to go get myself together. So, I'll be back. Hey, you guys, what's up? So, I'm finally out of the house. It is a little bit after two o'clock. I'm running a little bit late. I was rushing, didn't even get an opportunity to show you guys my little outfit I got on that I purchased at a local boutique here in Houston. Um, but it's, it's real cute. Um, a little bit warmer. Dressed a little bit warmer than I should be. I underestimated the weather. I thought it was going to be a little bit cooler. But it is what it is. I wouldn't change it. So, later on tonight, the weather is expected to drop. So, I'll be fine. Um, I am headed to my afternoon event, which is a birthday house party brunch shindig. So, I'm going to that. And then later on this evening, I'm going to meet up with Gina. Um, so, I'll check in um, upon leaving this event to see her whereabouts. But, you know, y'all coming with me. You know, the squad. We, we, we we in this together so i'll check back in with you guys once i arrive at um my first event so y'all i'm headed to the event but i stopped by kfc first to get my parents something to eat for their dinner and i got hit me and promise got hit this lady ran into the back of my car 
And so that has totally shifted my mood. Like, I'm like upset now. Like I have been sitting there for quite some time. Like, how did you not see me? But she, um, you know, stopped, gave me her license, insurance, all of that good stuff. So it is what it is. This street is lit up. So the next street is the street is the reason that we're here. So it is lit up and we're about to see what's popping. Is the gang all here? <laughs> this line is insane for trick-or-treating. We are literally walking in the grass. This is like a reminder of MLK slash getting on to the Galveston Seawall, Capital Beach Park. <laughs> but it's for the kids, it's rated PG. We have ran into Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh my God, this is our first experience. No, <laughs> I couldn't live on no street like this because I would be that one house with all the lights off not participating. I have my sprinklers on on y'all ass. <laughs> so one of the little ones asked why is he wearing a dress? I said I don't know but we got to get to the bottom of why he has on a silk robe. Who is he supposed to be? What y'all think? Madea? Let's go see the front end. Can we get a look at this front? Excuse me. Oh! oh, you're the big bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Where did my family go? We, we saw you from behind. We're like, what is he supposed to be? Uh, <laughs> totally, Grandma. Not, yeah, nothing like this here. What's up, y'all? So today is Tuesday. It is 9:45 a.m. I am on the road already. I am headed to Gina's house. Um, I agreed to run some errands with her this morning. So I know we're going to drop her truck off, and then we're going to take a trip to Katie Mills Mall which I haven't been to Katie Mills Mall since probably high school. I know she went last week, but so this is gonna be a trip down memory lane for me because I used to do a lot of my back to school shopping there because Katie Mills Mall back in the gap was the shit. It had the guest outlet, Calvin Klein outlet, Ralph Lauren outlet. So it was a must that I hit Katie Mills Mall whenever I did my back to school shopping. So I'm curious to know, you know, what it's like now with all stores they have. Um, I know she mentioned something about uh, some type of cosmetic store, outlet store, thingamajig. So, um, I'm ready. Because, you know, when, when you with Gina, you got to have your debit card. You got to have your debit card and you had to already do your transfer from your savings to your check-ins. Or however you manage your funds, you got to be ready to swipe, baby. And I'm ready. So, we going to All right, y'all. So, I'm with the best. And, you know, she's a Starbucks guru and she got your girl a drink. I got a Ice caramel macchiato, sub the vanilla, light ice, sugar free. So I got me a little drink. Mmm. And it's quite tasty. You like it? I do. Thank you very much. We headed to the mall now, yeah. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> you look like so manly, so piggly. <laughs> <laughs> we in the mall, y'all. And it's bringing back so many memories. <laughs> I'm old. No, because they're going to Express Outlet. That was there when I was in school. I've. Let me see. Reebok was there. Um, so many memories, y'all.
You know, my main stores though was Guess and uh, Ralph Lauren. It's still here, y'all. Ain't nothing changed. They used to have Nike. Yeah. I don't get my decoration in front from there. I get my decoration from from Burlington, Dee Dee's Discounts, Walmart. You may catch some from Family Dollar in my house. Who knows? I ain't trying to be like the Joneses. It out. Normally the voice of reason. But I said, let's go see. They got a Bath and Body Works in here, y'all. But I don't think it's an outlet. But they got... Is, would this be considered an outlet? This is an outlet store. So all the red signs you see in the store, those are all clearance items that we get to do. What'd you say? So I'm, I'm excited. No, I'm excited. <laughs> I do have uh, 12 candles. I also do have a lot of 50 candles. Y'all know Gina can't control herself when she's around candles. Um, Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Jacob. This helper got me in here smelling candles. Now I want to buy some. When I got 50 candles at the house. And that's not even an exaggeration. 50. You think you're looking 50? Girl. I, I, got, I, I think I probably have about 15, maybe. Maybe two. I probably, I probably got a good 30. I probably got a good 30 candles. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because I definitely have 30. Wow. I don't need now another candle. Yeah, this man right here looking at Gina Booty. <laughs> he left. All right, y'all. We're in a store called Q. Stores like this give me so much anxiety because it's so many options, so many clothes to choose from. It's just like, where do you begin? I mean, I just don't, I don't even know which rack to start on. It's so many options. This is why I normally elect to order online because ah, this makes me crazy. The communication barrier that we just had, we were trying to do an exchange and the complications, I'm just gonna pay for it because we wouldn't get nowhere with that conversation with that guy over there. <laughs> this is the move for lunch, y'all. Rainforest Cafe, I haven't been here in years. The fact that this shit started thunder, lightning, and moving, bitch, I was scared. I almost left you there sitting at this table. <laughs> has arrived at the table. I have a Beyond Burger. And Miss G has a burger as well. The I'll, Rainforest Burger. The Rainforest Burger. So we about to eat. With the nasty dipping sauces. And all four of these dipping sauces. Terrible. Well, five. Terrible. Well, this will be good for wings. These two This one belongs wings. on chicken. Uh-huh. I ain't taste this one. This one belongs in a stir fry. Stir -fry. And these probably are the same, right? They are. Yeah. Yeah. But we about to eat y'all. Good morning, squad. I am tired. And I also feel like I want to address this. I know y'all see me wear this a lot or you see the dust a lot. Those are hung on the back of the door and they my grab and goes, okay? I grab one, throw it on so that I can take the child to school. Okay, now we got that out the way. Anyways, I'm tired because last night I was on Instagram Live with Gina till about 1.45ish a.m. Central Standard Time. Late is the reason I'm tired. And we had a third party also on the live with us that added a little razzle dazzle to the conversation. We did question and answer. We had a good time, but I'm tired. I'm paying for it right now, y'all. So y'all know after I drop her off, we can't even call it a nap. I'm going I'm to take a sleep. I'm going back to sleep because I need my extra hours in. You know, I got to at least get seven yeah i have to at least have seven hours of rest so i can wake up rejuvenated and able to intermingle with people and not be you know all grumpy and attitude-ish we got one grumps we don't need two so after i wake up 
I'll be back. Uh, so I have been a lazy bum all day. It just is no way to sugarcoat it or make that sound nice. I have done absolutely nothing. Very unproductive. But anyways, I'm at the park getting ready to do my little workout with the ladies. They're supposed to meet me here, y'all. It is cold and raining. But they could not come up with a unanimous decision if we should cancel class or not. So I made the decision for them. And here we are in the cold and rain. And my joint's going to be aching. And they say it's going to get even colder, somewhere in the 50s. And, you know, for me, that's going to have me shaking in my boots, honey. But uh, we're going to try to get through this hour workout with as little complaining as possible so that we can get home and cut that heater on and get the house all warm and toasty. It's going to be Netflix and chill night. That's exactly what it's going to be. But I'm going to let y'all know how this workout goes. Rain, sleet, or snow, this fat got to go. Look at them, y'all. They here. They rolling. Look at them. They, oh, shit. They rolling up. It's calling right y'all. The mosquitoes going to eat our ass a lot. Why we got our crazy asses? I'm here. What? Y'all, they can't. They ain't leave me out here by myself. They out here. With the mosquitoes, they out here. And the cold and the rain. This work. Baby, these joints supposed to feel every bit of this workout. We ain't going to be able to move in the morning. Y'all got to get up to use the bathroom. Y'all just roll to the floor and crawl. Because that's what's going to happen. We about to work out, y'all. Yeah. I'm out here at this park. And I'm up from Ty. And I'm the partner of the night. Yeah. Look at me. She my partner, y'all. But we making it through. Rain, sleet, or snow. What I say, this thing must go. Good, we done. How y'all feel? Tomorrow. tomorrow how about today how you feel oh. yeah i got a shirt that says i was gifted a shirt that says i specialize in torturous bullshit workouts yeah. <laughs> yeah. good morning it is thursday and what y'all doing hey squad where y'all at ah, do y'all got plans Ooh, now don't say that hey y'all i'm in a good mood i had a good night rest so good that i hit the snooze button twice and that kind of pushed us back to you know getting places on time but i did get the child to school on time three minutes before the bell rung and i told her she needed to haul ass down the hallway so she can be in her seat before the bell rung so we can get this perfect tennis award and on awards day but i'm going to the 9 a.m cycling class i've been sticking to the plan y'all for the last three weeks i have gone to the cycling class um i've been doing two a days actually on thursday to try to maintain you know, with all this eating I've been doing, eating out and stuff like that, I'm trying to maintain, not lose, not gain, but just hold it steady. So it's been working out all right, but I don't think I'm going to do a two a day today. I think I'm going to do this cycling class, and tonight I'm going to kick my feet up and relax. But today I do got a lot of errands to run, stuff that I've been putting off. I'm going to go ahead and take care of it because who knows what's going to happen this weekend. I did get, get a, I did get a call from Gina, and... uh you know, she likes to throw things at your last minute, and my silly butt agrees majority of the time. So, I need to go ahead and knock some things out, and uh, that's what it's going to be. What's up, squad? It is Friday. Yes, we made it to another weekend, and we have a day full of errands that we have to run. Because I got a call two days ago from Gina. You know, it's her birthday month and the birthday shenanigans have begun and i'm here for it honey um but let me tell y'all first i had a meltdown this morning i had a whole meltdown this morning because i woke up and i had the hairs down here like god no am i at the age when now i'm gonna be plucking hairs out my chin oh jesus help me today now it now if you too have the same issue i need you to stop what you're doing right now and go take care of that because that's not a good look to be walking around with little hairs hanging and and no uh-uh, we're not gonna do that but anyhow so today i have to uh first this morning i have to go by the post office i boxed up some poshmark orders gotta ship them off um then we go into the nail shop because you don't judge me now okay y'all know i keep it 1000 with y'all in the cold winter months, I don't be going pay them people to do no doggone pedicures and they going to be clothed in some boots or, you know, my toes ain't going to be showing. What I'm giving them my money for? That's like throwing away money to me. 
So these toes look a whole rude mess. So I have to go get my feet done. And then after I get my feet done, I have a return that we have to do at the Galleria. Now, the Galleria gives me total anxiety. I only go there if I have to. Anything that I want to order that's, you know, sold at the Galleria, it's done online. I order online, I return online. I do not, you know, I know Gina, that's her second home, but I don't be, you know, in the Galleria like that. But because I'm pressed for time, my flight leaves in the morning, I have to do a return to sex that just ain't gonna wait. I procrastinated long enough. So I gotta do a return and then um, pick children up from school. And then I have an event that I'm going to meet up with some friends this evening. So we got a day full, but don't y'all worry because you know I'm going to be dropping in, dropping out, making sure the squad stays informed on what's going on in my world because that's how, you know, we do it. So hang tight. Yeah, so I'm at the nail shop and I'm the only one in here. So that's a plus, honey. The only one. Ain't nobody over there. Ain't nobody over there. I got my massage chair going, but I'm just gonna sleep. So hopefully when I wake up, they done done what I asked them to do, cause we gonna have big problems. We got company. They came in giving a hard time. Yeah, she got my feet right on together, but look at all this oil she putting on my feet. I'm be slipping right through my shoes. <laughs> Good God, I know I was a little ashy, but that's a bit excessive. So she got my feet right on together. They ready to walk on the beach, y'all. This here Summer Walker, honey. Some of these songs are so relatable, but some of these songs, I almost had your girl choosing violence this morning, having flashbacks, but we can't let that happen because we got shit to do. I just had to jump on here and let y'all know how I was feeling listening to this Summer Walker. Now, let me get back to listening to it. We are right on schedule. I have arrived at Saks to do my return. And uh, so we gonna run in sex and we gonna have tunnel vision so that we don't look to the left up to the right and try to purchase nothing. We running in doing our return and we running out because we have a 12 p.m. eyelash appointment. Let's get busy. This shit opens 11 and the store opens at 10. Wait, and they say you got- Yeah, I was trying to record that lady and not get her face in it. She, here she come, y'all, here she come. She come and knock on my door. Yes, ma'am. She say you have to call and then let you in. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah, that's stupid. Yeah, so the lady is upset because the doors in the uh, downstairs garage at Saks are locked. And she said, well, the mall opened at 10. And she was mad because the valet tried to charge her $12 to park her car. She said, fuck you. I'm about to spend $300 on some Killian perfume. I'm not paying you no goddamn $12. Then she went and yanked on that door and that door was locked and that pissed her ass off even more. She is hilarious. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we finally made it in sex. Man, that lady had me rolling and I see things that I like. But I'm gonna be strong, y'all. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna give in to temptation. This is the devil tempting me and I'm not gonna give in. 11 o'clock came and passed you by. I saw you shaking your head with your airpods. I said, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the back. You want right. to look at anything else? No, thank you. Don't right. tempt me. Get my perfume. <laughs> Bye, girl. Bye. <laughs> oh, y'all, I made me a little friend in the garage. <laughs> 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 